Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Chowdhury and you are watching Learnomad Technologies YouTube channel. In our today's lecture, we are going to understand about the Postgres parameter. So what is this Postgres parameter? Whenever you are starting the Postgres SQL database, your database will read the parameter file and in that parameter file, all the parameters related to the database will be available there. I'll give you some of the example. For that, let me share my screen and I'll show you one by one practically. See, basically what happened here, let's say, let's say you have a database, which is a Postgres and you are going to start this Postgres database. Whenever you are starting this Postgres database, it will read a file and that file we called it as a parameter file. In this parameter file, all the parameters related to the Postgres will be available. I'll give you some of the examples. Just take an example that how much memory you are going to allocate to this database. In order to run this database, you need to allocate some memory, right? So that memory will be allocated over under this parameter file. Another example will be like how many connections, how many max connections will be connected to this database. Let's say you are mentioning 100. It means maximum 100 connections can connect to this database. So such a type of multiple parameters will be available under this parameter file. Now you must have understood about the importance of this parameter file. But there will be a question which is coming in your mind that what is the name of the parameter file? The name of the parameter file is Postgres SQL dot con. This is the name of the parameter file and this is a standard name. Now where this file is available? This file is available under a location called PG data. Now this PG data can be any location. If you want to know the PG data location, you can go to the bash profile and there you can check the location of your PG data. The PG data location can be different from environment to environment. To show you these things practically, what I will do, first of all, let me open my PostgreSQL database. All right, so I'm here, let me clear my screen and now what I will do let's say I want to go to the PG data so I'll find let's say I want to go to the PG data location so I'll simply run the command like cd dollar PG data if I'm running this command you can see here that I'm going inside this location this location I have mentioned into my bash profile now if I do the ls hyphen lrt here you can see there is a file available with the name postgresql.con file. This is my parameter file related to the postgresql. What I will do, I will open this file by using the vi editor. When I'm opening this file and scrolling down, you can see there are multiple parameters are there. So there is a parameter available with the name max connection equals to 100. It means there are maximum 100 connections can connect to this PostgreSQL database. Some of the parameter you can see which is mentioned into the hash. In the prefix you can mention hash. It means these parameters are the part of your parameter file but these parameter are commented. It means this parameter are not read by the database. Only the parameter which is not having hash are working under this database as of now. If I scroll it down, there are multiple parameters are there. One more parameter called with the name shared buffer equals to 128 MB. It means the buffer memory of my PostgreSQL database is 128 MB. There will be a question which is coming in your mind that can I change this parameter? Whenever you are working as a database administration, you will be in a situations where you need to change this parameter. Now, whenever you are trying to make any changes to the parameter, the one thing which needs to become in your mind that do I need to restart the database or this parameter will get changed without restart. So no restart is required. I'll tell you one example. There are some of the parameters are there which require the restart. There are some of the parameters are there 
which does not require the restart. But those parameter which require the restart, you need to take the approval from your client. And those parameter which does not require a restart, if you don't take the approval, that is also fine. But again, I'm telling, do not make any changes to the database unless and until you have appropriate approval from your client or if your senior is asking for that. Let's do one thing. How will I understand that if I'm making any changes to the parameter, whether it is required restart or it doesn't require any restart. For that, let me go to a server. If I'm going here, you can see this parameter max connections equals to 100. If I go here, it is clearly mentioning that change required restart. It means if I'm changing this parameter from 100 to 200, I need to make the restart to this database. Let's do one thing. Let's try to change this max connection to 200. So for that, I'll do one thing. First of all, I'll connect to the PSQL. Let me clear my screen and I'll show you from the beginning. I'm getting connected to the PSQL prompt. So if I want to change any parameter for that, there is a command available. But before that, let me show you the current value of the parameter. Whenever you want to read any parameter, you can simply run the command like show and your parameter name. So my parameter name is max underscore connections semicolon. When I'm calling this show max underscore connections, I'm getting the output like 100. It means current value of my max connection is 100. This value is coming from your parameter file. Now let me do one thing. Let me change this to 200. So I'll say alter system set max connections equals to 200. Done. If I'm checking my show max underscore connection, the value it is showing it as 100 only. Still the value has not changed to 200 even though I have made the changes to the database level. Why it is happening? Because when I was reading this parameter, it was clearly mentioned that I need to restart my database. So how to restart the database? For that, you can use a utility called PG. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me open the new sessions. So I'll go here. Let me do exit. Okay. And I'm going to fire PG underscore CTL. You can stop. You can start start done. Now let me connect to the PSQL again. If I'm connecting to the PSQL and if I say show max underscore connections, when I'm running this command, you can see here that the max connections value has been changed to 200. This is the way you can change the parameter. Remember one thing that whenever you want to change any parameter, you need to understand that whether that parameter required restart or not. And where you can get this information from your parameter file. So likewise, I'm going to show you multiple different different parameters. And this is the same mechanism you can follow for other parameters also. There are many other things are there which I want to explain you, but it is not possible to cover everything into the single lecture. So what I will do, I will create a new video. But for that, what you need to do? The first thing you need to do is you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are interested to learn about the next Postgres database video, you can go into the comment section and just mention as interested. If I see the interested, it means I'll get to know that, okay, you people are very much interested to know about the Postgres database. Third thing, what you can do, you can join our WhatsApp group also. You can join our WhatsApp group. The group link is available in the description of this video. Last but not the least, if you are looking for trainings related to the Postgres, okay, if you are looking for the training, a training which is real-time training you can reach out to the number which is available over the screen 
and if you still have any questions queries anything and if you think that i should create a video on particular topic please let me know in the comment section i'll definitely create a video based on that topic thank you and please share this information with your friend and do not forget to join our whatsapp group bye bye